As you've probably seen so far, in this video we'll cover a little more realistic approach to bombing. And by that, I mean a method of using the INS system for precision bombing with the help of the waypoint offsets. This method of bombing requires quite a lot of planning beforehand. It's mostly used to bomb strategic stationary targets and cannot be used to bomb moving targets. However, you do not have to be in range to manually select the target by locking it with the targeting cross. This, in turn, provides us with the ability to drop bombs from higher altitudes while still retaining some accuracy. Since Mirage M2000C is primarily an interceptor, its air-to-ground capabilities are limited, so it's not designed to perform close air support tasks like, for example, A10C. But that doesn't mean it can't make bombing runs interesting. There's quite a lot of stuff to cover, so let's get started. Currently, we're in a small mission that I made to point out a few important things that you need to know. The goal of this mission is to destroy some stationary targets that I added on Echo Bay but you've probably seen those at the beginning of this video. The first thing that we need to do here is select our Mirage and decide which waypoint we want to put as our IP or initial point and we can use that waypoint's BAD BADS waypoint offset to mark the target. We're going to use two tools here. If you take a look at right here at the bottom of the screen you have ALT which designate altitude of the cursor that you're pointing at and we're going to use this tool right here, the ruler. If we want to use a ruler, we can hold the left click and see the distance and bearing between two points on the map. And for example, let's say that we want to make our second waypoint as our IP, we can hold the left click and drag it towards the target to see the distance and bearing towards the target. We need this information to make a BAD waypoint offset. If we take a look at this image right here, which I compiled beforehand to make this process a little bit easier to understand, you can see that we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need distance, bearing, and delta altitude. These three things are necessary to make a bad waypoint offset to mark our target. To get distance and bearing, we're going to use the ruler and drag it with the left click for the sec uh, from the second waypoint towards the target and read the data from there. In this case, it's 13.72 nautical miles with a bearing of 262 degrees. To get delta altitude, we need waypoint altitude and target altitude. To get the target altitude, move your cursor towards the target and read the altitude from there. You can do the same thing for your own waypoint. But if you ask me, make sure that the waypoint you're set is at minimal altitude by setting the 000 in its uh, waypoint altitude section. Once you got that, you get delta altitude by subtracting the target altitude from waypoint altitude. So it's waypoint altitude minus target altitude. And in this case, it's 3,290 feet. Be in mind that for this, you're probably going to need to use imperial system because the distance, in this case rho, is always going to be implied in nautical miles. With that in mind, we're going to have to remember this information because we're going to have to input it in our Mirage once we're in the game. Okay then, so let's take this step by step. If we take a look at the new board, we can see our flight plan. My goal is to prepare the INS system before we enter the first waypoint and as we're going towards our IP point, which is the second waypoint, we will arm our bombs and arm our systems. To take care of the INS system, we will look at this panel right here. Here we can see two numbers, 00 and 01. This represents the INS prep switch and this represents the INS DEST switch. The DEST switch controls which waypoint is displayed on the HSI or on the HUD, while the INS prep switch decides which waypoint you want to edit the information. In this case, we want to edit the information for the waypoint number 02, so we can press this switch and press 02, and here we can see all different kind of inf information about that waypoint. If you take a look at this right here, you will see BUT, which, stand, which stands for the waypoint uh, information, latitude, longitude, altitude, and so and so on. If you take a look at this part right here, it's called BAD, and this represents the waypoint offset. It's also offset latitude, longitude, offset uh, altitude, and uh, rho and theta in this case. 
first thing that we're going to input is our delta altitude. And if I take a look at our INS parameter selector and move it into delta altitude position, we will see two numbers, one on the left and one on the right. This one represents the altitude in feet, and this one represents the altitude in meters. Since we have the information here about uh, altitude in feet, we will add it to the left side of the screen. You add it to the left side of the screen by pressing number 1 or number 7 on the keypad, and once you press that, we can enter our altitude. Now we have to choose, do we want to have it as a positive or a negative value? Since we are subtracting from the, uh, from the waypoint that's higher than the target altitude, we're going to input the negative value here. So you we will press the number 7 to input the negative value to get the true target altitude. And we will input the 0, 3, 2, 9, 0 feet. Once we've done that, we will switch to rho and theta here. And on the left side, we will enter rho, which is basically our distance, and the theta on the right side, which is our bearing. To edit the left side, press number 1 on the keypad and enter uh, the distance that you choose. In this case, it's 13.72 nautical miles. To edit the right side of the screen, press number 3 and enter the desired bearing. In this case, it's 262.8 degrees. Once we've done this, we basically set up the, our entire INS system. Now all we have to do is fly towards our IP. Now that we have passed our first waypoint and are heading towards our second waypoint, which in this case is our IP point, we have to prepare for a bombing run. In order to do that, we have to activate a few things first. First things first, turn on the, uh, turn on the radar and activate your bombs. In this case, we're going to drop 8 bombs with 1 millisecond delay. Uh, turn on your master arm and select the bombs you want to use and click on the PEI on the PCA panel. After you've done that, a small diamond shape will appear on the HUD. This diamond is used to update the INS position for the IP or the INS system. Since the flight time of this mission wasn't that long, I won't be doing it in this video. If you do not know how to perform this INS position update, watch the previous video of this guide series. Our goal is now to pass through the waypoint and when the HUD uh, indicators change, we have to follow the little wings next to the flight path marker to guide us toward the target. Once a horizontal line starts going up, hold the pickle button to release the bombs.
that's it for the guide on INS precision bombing. Hope you liked the video and see you next time.